part two, guys, bringing it home. Hey, look, I think what it means is that the evangelical Christians, okay, are becoming more in tune with the, the very truth, and they're trying to be more understanding and get out of their ways, and I think that should be applauded, okay, because it's the thing. We can't say that we are like Christ, okay, and genuinely when somebody is like, all right, I get it, okay, I see what's going on, I understand, and really trying to change, okay, genuinely, then you can't say you of Christ and you ain't, you know what I'm saying, and you ain't, and you ain't respecting that. So what I think it does is it was a point in time where a lot of right-wing evangelicals were so in their ego, so arrogant, okay, and and so uh, pompous that, I think that's the word, pompous, pompous or something like that, um, that they would literally never fund or support something of, of a message like he gets us. Make sense? So I think this is people that's genuinely trying to really find Christ, like for real. Not just from a propaganda, a political standpoint or a religious standpoint to try to keep themselves. I think this particular campaign is from perhaps some people who might be traditional Republicans. But that's the thing. It's traditional Republicans that got good hearts. Look, you they got good hearts. You can't try to judge a person if all they know and all they've been exposed to is a certain type of thing. They've been raised a certain type of way and been in a society that supports that. You see what I'm saying? For a certain amount of time, you can't really blame them for that. You see what I'm saying? Now that they're being exposed to certain things, and some of them are really genuinely trying to change their heart and really looking for the truth, you got to respect that. And that's how I look at it. All right? And so from a left wing standpoint, for what a lot of so what a lot of right wingers would say, that's how you say you can't be polarized, is that they're, you know, the left wing is really all the radical Satanism or whatever. This is what a right winger, a traditional evangelical, some of them would say. You see what I'm saying? You can't judge people either way. You see what I'm saying? And so, unless you the most high. And so with that said, they would say, oh, that's of the devil or whatever. They're just trying to, you know sway you towards the devil and Satan or whatever, whatever. So I think it's really like a non-polaristic thing where the Most High uses who, who and whatever he wants to use to bring forth his plan, okay, and and and, and how he wants things to unfold. So I, the way I look at it is the left, the, the left shouldn't be trying to necessarily, or how you should be looking at it, because the left and the right all work hand-to-hand, -hand. the blue and the, and the red work hand-to-hand, -hand. Things like that. Everything is under the most high. Okay? And so, you know what I mean? Stop being so polarized. Stop being so emotional. And try to find the higher meaning and what the Father is really trying to show you. Okay? And so, what I think is, is it's not, you know, even if that might be some people's intention. It don't matter what they intention is. If it ain't of the most high, it's some going they some going to get thrown off or they going to get caught off guard some kind of way. You see what I'm saying? But he going to make it work for him. You see what I'm saying? And so what I how I look at it is you would never see clean cut like if you look at that video, the type of guy that they had up there presenting, you know what I'm saying? He would have a person like that, you will look at him and judge him and be like, "Oh, that's a clean cut." evangelical, racist, good old boy, white guy. I'm, I'm keeping 100. That's what you would say of the guy who was presenting in that commercial. But it was showing how if these, you know, even if these people, because people say that about certain people, like these people who will look at me and be like, them people, that boy right there, that one, you see what I'm saying? I get judged all the time. You see what I'm saying? I could, I could look at how people, I'm at a point now, I could tell, I could feel, I could feel everything almost. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to be too arrogant about it, but so I can tell when somebody looking at me like, you know what I mean, a certain type of way and judging me. You see what I'm saying? And so you don't want to, if you don't want people doing that to you, you can't be a hypocrite and do that to other people. So you got to give people a legitimate chance. And so if it's cr traditional Christian evangelicals who at a certain point in time, that's all they knew and they ain't know no better, you got to give them a chance. And so... If that's what they putting their money into, 
and if this is the way that they're campaigning, this is the, what they're pushing, then it's showing that they're at least attempting to conf conform